sign them. Australian researchers are taking part in a major international study of older drivers. It aims to create a simple screening test for doctors so they can easily tell if someone should hang up their car keys. Here's Consumer Affairs reporter Amy Bainbridge. Retired scientist Mel Gilbo is 83 years old and she uses her car every day. Well, I do so many different things in different, you know, locally and further afield and I would have to reconsider a lot of things if I couldn't drive. Ms Gilbo is one of 1,300 people from Australia, Canada and New Zealand taking part in a study of older drivers. She says she often faces discrimination on the roads. It's part of the reason she signed up. I wanted to go into this program to get some facts to base, it, base on criteria, not just to say you're such and such an age, you should stop driving. When we look at the crash rates of drivers, particularly in the 75 plus age group, we know that Per distance driven, this group of drivers is overrepresented, particularly in serious injury and fatal crashes. The researchers say an important part of this study is keeping drivers in their own cars so they can effectively monitor their day to day driving habits. Each driver's car is fitted with cameras and a small data box. This camera here is looking at the traffic ahead and this camera here is looking at the driver themselves so we can look at their uh, looking behaviour as they're driving along undertaking the different driving manoeuvres. What we're asking the drivers to do is to undertake a uh, comprehensive battery of, of um, tests, um, tests of cognitive abilities, physical abilities, all the sorts of things that we think might underpin safe driving. This is year four of the five-year study. It's hoped the end result will be a simple screening test for GPs to give to some older drivers who are considered at risk. One in four Australian drivers will be over 65 by the year 2030. Amy Bainbridge, ABC News.